Rick Kong here for Hollywood First Look. Today, I am talking with India de Beaufort and Lacrita, and we are talking their show, Night Court. Let's take a first look. Olivia Moore, this is Dan Fielding. Oh, wow. Of all the days to leave my selfie stick at home. You can always use that stick up your ass. Oh. <laughs> first punch. You did! Cut it out! Cut it out! Permission to approach. Denied. Permission to lean? My dad, Harry Stone, told me, see people for what's underneath. You're the judge. Don't go! That's my court, baby. So did you ever watch the old series in its first run? Because this thing was like out of print for a long time and only recently came back on streaming. So I don't know what at one point you either try to re-familiarize yourself because I know Melissa Roush was a big fan like myself. Yeah, I was definitely watching it in syndication. I grew up watching Are You Being Served, Keeping Up Appearances, Patty Duke. Um, I love Bonanza. I love Murder, She Wrote. So I was always watching things that weren't exactly current for the time. I was definitely watching Night Court when it was on. Yeah. I wasn't. I didn't I didn't have any real frame of reference, which has been really interesting going along this experience because I'm surrounded by people who have a very clearly defined frame of reference. Um, my Todd, though, my husband has watched every single multicam ever made. And so Night Court had been on in our house about three months prior to me auditioning for the show because Todd had been binging as he does. And um, so I knew what it was, but I hadn't myself really got in the full scope of things. But then the second I got um, a phone call asking if I would test for the show, I immediately was like, okay, I need to figure out what this is and what the tone of the show is and and check it out and, and fall in love with Dan Fielding. And I did. <laughs> How was it just like being able to be on set with John Larroquette revisiting this role? Oh gosh, I just want to sit at his feet and just listen to his stories. He tells the most amazing stories and not just of his time on Night Court, but just his life in general. He really is an open book and I feel like I can talk to him about anything. Um, but I love that scene where we're just like circling around each other. It's very like doo -doo 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 -doo, the noodle song and, you know, we're just trying to one up each other and he bests me like that. Oh gosh, I love shooting that. We shot that maybe three or four times, but every time I was just like, oh yeah, let's, let's do it again. One more time, please, please, please. Can we do it just one more time? Cause I don't know when I'm gonna be able to have this kind of um, interaction sparring, as you said, with him in the future. So yeah, that was, oh, that was, that was cake for me. I, I couldn't love John more if I tried. He is so full of um, incredible stories that it's such an honor to get to, to be in the presence of. He's so, um, he's such an actor's actor. He's so giving and considerate of the cast and he never had any expectations from anybody or stepped on anybody's toes or put forward any suggestions of how he thought we should be, you know, uh, taking on this sort of reimagining. Um, he always just kind of sat back and allowed us to go through the process. But if we said, hey, John, can you help me out? He's immediately the first one there to to help you. And he knows that all I ever want to do is just absorb his genius. So I'm always like, John, give me something. And I think he's tickled by that. I stayed away from trailers and everything. I just saw just like the kind of the announcement saying it was going to be redone. So when your character came on, you know, to the, to the screen and everything, for me, I was like, that is like the spirit and the heart of the original series, you know, just seeing you. So I have to ask you, like, how is that bailiff? Is it itchy? How is that costume? <laughs> It's so hot. It is so hot because it's not, you know, like Disney has a has an amazing way of, oh, we're going to set this in this time. Or we're going to set this in this time. But it's very breathable fabrics. This fabric is actual fabric. It's actual boiled wool. And um, I have no way out of it. Like once you're in it, you're just in it. So I'm just so sweaty by the end of Friday nights when I finally take it off. But it's also like a badge of honor. Like, I'm stepping in the footsteps of so many brilliant actors that, you know, I don't complain. I don't complain at all, but yeah, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a lot. <laughs> so I was wondering for you stepping onto this new set, a little bit more bright and more up to yeah. so I was wondering what that feeling was like. That was a little strange because the original, the walls are a different paint color and there's um, kind of more of a dinginess, I guess to the original, um, which, so the first time I saw the set, because I thought I would be walking into an identical version, um, I was a little thrown. I was like, oh, it's the same, but it's not the same. But then I realized, oh, well, that's us. We're the fresh cone of paint. 
So, you know, it's kind of, in a way, a really lovely parallel that's happening with the sets because our, our set designer uh, has done such a phenomenal job of capturing the original set. But it's so smart to give it that little bit of warm yellow paint in the courtroom and that little tick up of things. But we do still have original pieces. The 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 couch in the, the judge's chambers, that's the original. Some of the chairs uh, in the cafeteria, you'll see like little Easter eggs all the way around the place that um, that have been there for, for longer than we have. <laughs> These walls could talk, they'd say they're all guilty. To save time, can we do all the public urinations at once? I just think if you show a little compassion, you can put people on a better path. We had a nice talk. He's in a really good place. Oh.